In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the software Math Type that I uh, use uh, mainly to uh, create some uh, YouTube videos, math videos. When I was still teaching, I used it to uh, generate some of my tests. Most of the time, I would use the test generators that the uh, book companies would provide. So you can see here we have the uh, bottom canvas here that uh, you input the uh, symbols, formulas that you want to uh, include in your presentation or insert into, say, MS Word, PowerPoint, and that's basically what I, I do. I insert these into, uh, whether it's an equation or a formula, into a MS Word document and use it for my YouTube videos. Uh, I also use it on some PowerPoint and uh, insert equations, formulas, or whatever I'm working on or going to present. I want to point out this to you. Notice if I click over here, the menu disappears. And that's important because you need that menu. So if I click over here, it comes back. So you can see you got all sorts of things up here. When you want to create uh, exponents, over here, x, I want to power here. Go. We have it there. Okay. These tabs over here, working with the algebra, want expressions or symbols dealing with that, click on that. Calculus, de dealing with derivatives. S statistics, we have some of the symbols there. Matrices, sets, and so forth. But my presentation is really not on showing you how to use uh, math type. Uh, it's just one issue that I had, but I do want to show you a little bit just in case uh, you're new or have, uh, haven't used it before. Uh, let me go back to algebra. So if I just open this thing, this math type by itself, and say I want to insert this formula, quadratic formula, all I have to do is close this. Okay. So if I close it, say save changes to untitled 12, document 12. And if I say yes, it'll take me to my files. If you have a uh, folder that you're using for math type material, you can save it there. But usually what I do is I open my uh, MS Word here and if you have MS Word already on your computer installed and in, say PowerPoint and then you either uh, do a 30-day trial or you buy uh, math type and install it it'll put this icon here okay so i got math type right there and then over here if i if i click at this inline this appears so then i suppose i want to insert a an equation There was something basic here. Now, I want to insert it into this document. I click on this one right here. Close this one, and it automatically puts it in there. So when I edit, I click on it, and here's my menu. It comes back, the uh, canvas along with the uh, top tabs with the menu and all sorts of symbols and so forth. So notice if I just uh, just a 27 say close it it automatically does it. Okay. Now I suppose I'm going to do something else here. So let's suppose I want to insert this formula here. Close it there. There's the formula. And of course you can arrange it any way you want. I'm just doing it just to show you. Now if I do it again. This thing I just 
I just do this. And notice what happens if I close this one. Right here. Okay, so that's gone. And then I close this one here. And there it is. Okay. So now let's suppose I want to go to uh, a PowerPoint. And let's say I want to edit this problem right here and this on this video that I've already done. Okay, so let's suppose I wanted to edit this. I will just click on it. Okay, so here's the bottom half of the math type software. But I didn't get the menu. Okay. So if I do this, it's gone. So I can't use it. it. Doesn't appear. So let me close this. Close this. So I come back over here and do the other one and click on inline. See, I wanted to add to this one. Okay. Again, I don't have my menu symbols, the potential for exponents, radicals. It doesn't appear. So now let me go over here. Okay, so now I open it by itself. Again, the menu doesn't appear. In order to generate formulas, equations, and whatever, uh, we need that top half. So if that happens, and it happened to me, you go to view, you notice the two bar is not checked. So it's hiding the two bar. I did that the other day. Uh, I've used uh, math type for uh, for years, and I guess the other day what I did is I closed the wrong one. Okay. So what you have to do is click toolbar, and there it is. Okay. So again, <laughs> the issue was when you're working with this and you're going to insert something. Click on inline, and then, okay, see so here, if I want to insert a rational expression, I got all the tools I need. So again, you don't want to close this one, you want to close this one. There you have. Now, if I click here this way, okay, go to view, it's it's still clicked there, okay. So all you do is click again. See, click here. There it is. Click here. But there, it's still present. But when you when you close it this way, close it like that. Okay, it unchecks it. So I did that accidentally, and I had just I had just updated the uh, the software, and I thought that's what it was. Maybe it was defective, but with a little bit of uh, research, I found out the problem. So uh, if you have that H issue, okay, make sure you have this checked. You can also do it by uh, Control Alternate. See, so click here. Control alternate B and it puts it back if if it's missing. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.